So friends, today I am going to show you how to use Microsoft Lists inside of Microsoft Teams. So let's get into today's video. Alright, if you have not already downloaded Microsoft Teams, make sure to click on my link below to download that onto your machine. If you're using Mac, you should follow along on your web browser. So search for Microsoft Teams, log in using your Microsoft 365 account on the browser itself and follow along. But let me share my screen to show you what's going on. All right, so here I am inside the chats area of Microsoft Teams. The way you know what applications you already have downloaded onto Microsoft Teams is if it is on the left banner here to the side or you click on the three dots to view more apps and you can search right here. So if you search list to see if Microsoft List is already added and downloaded onto your to your you know device and onto your Microsoft Teams, um, then you can see it right there, but mine is not. So I'm gonna show you how to get it there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the plus button that adds apps onto your Microsoft Teams. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna search for it. So we're gonna search for lists and here it is, boom, right here, Microsoft Lists. Now, mine actually, I already downloaded it, so I'm gonna click on the open button, but if you haven't downloaded it, that is going to say add, and you're gonna choose to add that and download it right now, okay? So you're gonna click on the add button and download it. Then you're going to select a Microsoft channel to connect it to, okay? I am going to choose the general Axiom Team channel, and actually, nope, I'm gonna use the general internal training to train you guys on this and I'm gonna select go. If you don't see it here, you can search for a channel as well. So once I select go, it's going to let me know that it has finished and I'm gonna select save. And now you can see this list tab pop up and it has taken me to the specific channel that I selected under the specific internal training team. Now, what I'm going to do is create a list from scratch, but you can add an existing list. So if you don't already know this, Microsoft Lists is an application, just like Microsoft Teams. You can actually access that application through a web browser and through its own app, and you can create lists inside of that application. So maybe you were already doing work on a SharePoint site that had that list on it, or you were in the Microsoft Lists um, application itself, creating a list or editing a list. You can add an existing list by clicking this right here and entering the SharePoint link that it gives you, or you can select it from the ones that it knows. So it'll it'll pull some of your list because it knows your account um, right here. Okay, I'm gonna create a list from scratch here. Here we go. So they've got some cool templates. I would suggest looking into it. They've got employee onboarding, event itinerary lists, asset manager. They've got a lot of really cool things already here. Um, and you can also export from a, um, from a CSV or an Excel document or an existing list right here as well. I am actually going to create um, one using one of their templates and I'm going to use the employee onboarding template, okay? Now, what this one does is it, it does show you, this is showing you like a little preview of the template that you can choose to go back to if you want or you can select use a template if you want to. This is gonna show you um, the, the different tabs that it's already had created. It has a mentor, completed on, is it complete, completed by, description. It has a lot of different things on here which is super, super cool. And it already has it fully built out for you. You just have to fill in your your information. Um, now I'm going to click back and I'm going to click on uh, a blank list so you can see what it would look like to create one from, scr from scratch. But again, if you want to go to event itinerary and look at, you know, what that looks like here, um, it includes like a capacity, capacity monitoring, um, the location of something, which is really cool. It has a lot of different stuff in, e in each and every template. So make sure to check those out. Let's create a blank one. 
Okay, I am going to call this um, podcast or let's do YouTube video scheduling. Okay, and I added a description, a color, and I chose a little icon. I'm going to do this one actually. And then I'm going to choose to create. All righty, here we are. This is as blank as it possibly could be. What we are going to do is add a column here. So, for example, for the YouTube video scheduling, this is where creativity can thrive. So, if you guys want to create um, your own list, you probably know what you want to see more than I would. But the way that you'll create columns is choose to add a column with this plus button right here. Um, so for me, for YouTube video scheduling, I want to see the title of the video. I want to see the date that it is supposed to be recorded, then the date that it's going to be published. So I need to select date and time for this one. Click next, and I'm gonna name this column um, date recorded. And I, I'm not going to add a description, but you could if you wanted to. And the type, again, is date and time. You could choose, like, other things like a hyperlink, a yes or no question, multiple lines of text. Um, and then I'm going to keep all the rest of these blank and click create. So now you can see the column there. And it has been created. And then I'm going to create another one and add a person. This is going to be um, editor of the video, okay? And I'm gonna click save. Then I'm going to add another date and time and choose pub, or I'm gonna say scheduled for. And this is gonna be the date that the you know YouTube video is supposed to be scheduled for. And now I've created all of these things that I like that will make my life way easier. But now I have to create the items itself. So like for example, for, for this video, this is gonna be its own item. So I click add new item here at the top. Then I'm gonna choose the title of the video. So I'll title this video. Then I'm going to schedule it for the 24th and I am going to say that it's being recorded on this date and the editor's name is going to be myself and boom there we go if I wanted to add an attachment here like maybe like the thumbnail for the video or whatnot I could do that here then I click save and boom here it is right here with all the information I need if I ever needed to add more columns I can always click add you can start really getting into stuff when you add automations. You can, you know, if something happens, make this happen and your um, lists can be ch ever changing and ever evolving as far as the automations go. And you can also integrate uh, power apps as well. If you don't know what that is, just forget I said it anything. Um, but yeah, this is how you can create a basic um, list inside of Microsoft Teams. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe to be notified anytime I create new content. If you want to see more about Microsoft Teams, go to my channel because I have a ton of content on that. Um, but thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.